one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand. That's a long fucking hug. I don't like the side hugs where you're just kind of like, oh, hey, hey, like that. We don't do that. We do full frontal hugs. Someone hashtag full frontal. <laughs> full frontal hugs. I'm going to buy that website. So everyone put your arms around yourself. And the science behind it to trigger the feel-good hormones in your brain, it has to be a six-second hug. Okay. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000. Five one thousand, six one thousand. That's a long fucking hug. And that a long hug? But that's how long it really takes for you to start feeling the benefits of a hug. And the feel good hormones kicking in and all that stuff, right? That's how long it takes. Six seconds. Now, some of you guys are going, what the fuck did I just start watching? Dr. Bong's doing this fireplace. Why, why are we talking about hugs? Well, think about it. When you were obese, 300 pounds, 250, you know, 130 kilograms, how much did you like hugs? How much did you like it when people would put their arms around your waist, give you a full frontal hug? Chances are you probably didn't see this fire. Chances are it made you feel uncomfortable. And it didn't matter if it was your husband hugging you, or your mama hugging you, or your babies hugging you. One, chances are you weren't comfortable. Now let me tell you something. It is our human nature to want to be hugged. We need human contact. We need to be held and touched. We're like chickens. You can't own just one chicken. You have to buy a minimum of three chickens. Because at nighttime, when chickens, when they roost, they roost so close together. They need their body heat. They're social creatures. We're social creatures too. We need human touch. Society has gotten so weird about it. Oh, that's not professional, Dr. Vong. You shouldn't be hugging your patients. I'm like, I know. Give me a hug. Hug it out. If you can't hug me, you can't be my patient. You know, first, when I first got to Albuquerque, boy, I got some complaints. Your new surgeon likes to hug. He made me feel all embarrassed. I was all sweaty from like walking across the parking lot and he hugged me. So I got called into my uh, CEO's office and like, Dr. Vong, do you really have to hug everybody? Like, yeah, I have to hug. Yeah, yeah, we have to hug. <laughs> it's very important. So on the weekend workshops and probably even the meet and greets, we're gonna practice hugs. We're gonna talk, we're gonna practice self-love. I'm gonna give you some tips and techniques. Cause you know, if you can't love yourself, now don't don't be loving yourself now you know don't don't get you, you don't you went into that dirty place in your brain didn't you I just <laughs> I saw you when I said loving yourself you went to that dirty place now if you can't love yourself then it's gonna be really hard for you to love others isn't that true it's gonna be really hard for you to love your um, friends and family and co-workers and um, some people are so resistant, right? Let me tell you how I said, I know, I know the nature of people. Some people will say, well, that, the only people I love are my kids. Well, that, you just proved my point. The only people I need hugs from is my husband and my kids. You just proved my point. Your husband might leave you. What happens if your husband leaves you? God forbid what happens if your, hu your, your husband has a heart attack. Your kids, when they become teenagers, gonna blame you for everything. And then they're gonna move off to college and then you'll be alone and you'll have nobody to hug. What about that? Why not lose the weight now? Why not lose the weight now? 
fall in love with yourself, your new self. That way you'll have love left over to give to others. That's what this is about. Okay?